Greetings, everybody, and welcome to this edition of the Media Files. So, this time is going to be a Blu-ray review. Yeah, slash movie review, really. Uh, so, I just got this movie not that long ago, because I was in... Uh, actually, I actually got it, uh, what was it just last week, and uh, had not had a chance to watch it until my nephew saw that I had had the digital copy on my uh, TV. He's like, I want to watch that movie. I'm like, okay, I heard it's pretty long. Can you sit through it? Yeah. So sure enough, we watched, he sat down, We he and I watched probably one of the best animated movies I've ever seen in a long time. And none of that, though, um, I thoroughly enjoyed the first one. So we're going to review today Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, right here on the Media Files. All right, welcome back. So, Spider-Man Across the Universe, obviously the sequel to the first film entitled Into the Spider-Verse. Wow, I didn't think that they could actually top Into the Spider-Verse, and they did. Big time. I mean, they. <laughs> the first movie was about two hours. This movie is like two and a half hours long. I'm surprised he sat through it. And so here we have the exclusive fan edition with the collectible cards. Um, sadly, it did not come with the digital with the cards, unfortunately. Um, you know, it all it really came with is, well, <laughs> a flyer for, um, you know, a soundtrack, the soundtrack. As well as, hey, purchase Spider-Man 2 and the PS5. Which, I never played the first game, so there we go. And we have our, as usual, when it comes to Sony, we have artwork for the Blu-ray and nothing but text on our lovely DVD. So, yeah, so what did I think of the movie? Well, like I said, I thought it was really, really good. Um, a little confusing, uh, given the fact of where they go. <laughs> And with all the other characters kind of coming in, I kind of have to go back and watch it again. Uh, because, well, I just there was a lot to catch up on. A lot to kind of really kind of pack in or whatnot. Uh, but one thing that I absolutely loved about it was that here it is. You know, we got the first movie done. Now we've, you know, gotten to the point where some of the characters have gotten a little bit older. A little more experienced. Which is kind of what you want to see in a sequel. But, man, I tell you what, when they go into the multiverse, wow, you're not expected to see all those different versions of, you know, all the different versions of Spider-Man. And there's only a few of them that I actually am kind of vaguely familiar with. Not very many. Mainly, um, uh, let's see, well, obviously Spider-Gwen there, Miles Morales. Spider-Man 2099, and of course, you know, the Peter Parker version of Spider-Man, and the um, uh, Scarlet Spider. I don't know why. I've always liked that particular design of Spider-Man, uh, the Ben Riley version. And, uh, oh, there's... <laughs> that's awesome. There's actually a Spider-Woman's way back there in the background. That's awesome. Um, so, yeah, what did I think of the movie? Well, obviously, like I said, it's so good. I'm going to have to go back and watch it again. Because uh, there's so much to, that's crammed in in this movie. And I cannot wait for the sequel beyond the Spider-Verse, which uh, supposedly comes out next year, maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, with nonstop action, you know, wild and insane animation, let me tell you. Because that's really the only way to actually do this type of movie, because you, obviously you cannot do this live action. Um so yeah, so uh, let's get uh, on here with the Blu-ray bonus features. Yeah, uh, so here we have over 90 minutes of bonus features. Obscure spiders and Easter eggs. Deleted scene, Miguel calling. Uh, I'm going to do my own thing, Inter interdimensional destiny. Across the worlds, designing new dimensions. Designing spiders and spots, scratches, score, and the music of the multiverse. Which I thought the music, the score for this movie was awesome, by the way. Um, Escape from Spider Society, Across the Comics Verse, Lyrics, Videos, and the Commentary. 
and also includes creating the ultimate Spider-Man movie, Raising a Hero, and your friendly neighborhood Spider-Cast. So yeah, I was kind of surprised that they got uh, Oscar Isaac in here to um, to do this because it sounded like him, but I had no idea. I didn't think that that was him at first. I'm like, wait a minute, and it was. I'm like, sweet. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely. I have to cram through all the bonus features and watch all that. Um, like I said, I literally just got done watching this movie a few days ago, and I need a second viewing, because <laughs> there is a lot that is crammed into this two-and-a-half-hour movie, but you can tell that it's definitely a two-parter, especially when it starts getting towards the end there. You can tell that the story's not really wrapping up as a normal, you know, superhero movie would. But, yeah, so link will definitely be down in the description below. Um, uh, and with that, you know, hey, uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification button, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.